What's this cockamamie birthday stuff? It's just nonsense. What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? You say you're responsible for that? I knew I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. I should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque? Another phrase that you're taking credit for? Ain't I a stinker? And of course, ain't I a stinker? <laughs> Mr. Wiley, do you honestly expect America to believe that these time-honored quotations were stolen from you by Bugs Bunny when you were kids in Brooklyn? <laughs> what you are saying is she just kept right on walking without saying a word? We are talking to men who have changed their names to Bugs Bunny in hopes of getting women, but are failing miserably. We'll be right back. Vice President of Hardaway Publishing. I am Stalling, President of Anvil Records. Mel White, Senior Vice President of Perth Amboy Amalgamated Industries, and Harry Canis from the Pismo Beach Institute of Human Behavior. High-powered executives by day, Bugs Bunny impersonators by night. The secret world of corporate America. Okay, so let's roll that videotape right now, Jim Bob. Let's take a look. Anvil accidents, or are they? That's the focus of this investigative edition of Parole. Coming up, Bugs in Love and at War with Dr. Ruth and Hulk Hogan. Oh, no, you don't. Get back in your seat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The first one that tries to get out of here to warn that rabbit gets his hide blown off. And that goes for the rest of you.